Hey guys, it's Melissa with Champion Music Studio and we are so excited to have just begun our fall semester. We've had a lot of returning students come on back and we are enrolling some new faces and we're just so incredibly excited for the growth that we're going to see this semester. I wanted to make a video specifically about practice. So as you know, if you're learning a new skill, whether that be um, dancing, cooking, reading, a musical instrument, whatever it is, practice is very important if you want to get good, right? So if you're considering lessons, the first thing you need to consider is do you have a way to practice? So if you want to take piano, you're going to want to make sure that you have access to a piano or a keyboard at least five to six days a week, right? Uh, same with guitar. If you want to take guitar, you want to make sure that you have access to a quality guitar at least five to six days a week. Now we do teach voice lessons as well and we are working on providing a resource for our vocalists to be able to vocalize outside of their lesson time, but they do already have access to practice repertoire and all that fun stuff. So when you're considering your lessons, you want to make sure that you actually have access to whatever instrument you're practicing. Uh, are taking from. The second thing is we offer 30 minute lessons, 45 minute lessons, and hour long lessons. So generally the rule is you want to probably practice the amount of time a day that your lesson is. So if you're taking a 30 minute lesson, you probably want to devote about 30 minutes to your practice time every day. Uh, and the piano, guitar, voice, whatever it may be. Okay, uh, 45 minutes, you probably want to devote around 45 minutes. Or somewhere in there. So make sure that you have the time. If you don't have the time to set aside to practice, maybe um, it might be a little on the wiser side to consider waiting a little bit before you dive in. But you do want to make sure you have a way to practice and the time to practice. Now a lot of students when they go sit down and practice are a little bit confused on what to actually do. So this semester we are really kind of hammering down these practice logs and what these are are sheets of paper that you'll get at each lesson where we will fill out what you are to practice on a daily basis okay and we will fill out the date so all the student needs to do is write the time they started practicing and the time that they stopped this is gonna allow so much ease in your practice time you're gonna know exactly what you need to practice you're gonna know for that day you're gonna know like what order all that kind of stuff what scales do I do what repertoire do I practice you're gonna know exactly what you're supposed to practice because we're gonna write it down for you during your lesson okay it's also gonna help any parents out there know what your child is practicing I know a lot of times the school year gets busy and where we're teaching a lot of students are dropped off and picked up and so we don't actually talk face to face with the parents so um, this is going to help the parents know what your children are, are needing to practice so to speak and we will also give feedback on these practice logs as well as like great job you're doing awesome you're killing it you might need a little more work or I don't think you're practicing at all <laughs> right so um, these will be in a binder that your student will have you or your student will keep and so it's just a really great tool that we're utilizing this semester so practice is very important and we are so excited to see the growth that comes from the practice this semester. So guys, have a musical day and get to a practice room. I'm going to go right now. Bye.